The Yon Gallery presents The Spectacular Mid-Year Auction 2018 The extremely rare and extremely historically important documents handwritten and signed by Gregoria de Jesus, wife of Andres Bonifacio, Lakambini of the Katipunan. She tells the sorry tale of the controversial events from March 22, the Tejeros Convention, and the days afterwards. This is the first time that these documents will be seen by the general public, and in fact, even by some historians. Including the arrest, trial, and death of Andres Bonifacio in April 1897, and her search for him, signed Gregoria de Bonifacio, Lacambini, noblewoman. Provenance, the collection of noted scholar Epifanio de los Santos. It is believed that Epifanio de los Santos was asked to compile, uh, according to Professor Milagros Ferrero, asked to compile all the testimony and documents that would tell the true story uh, behind the Philippine Revolution. Literature. A portion of this document was originally published by 1. Epifanio de los Santos and his article, Andres Bonifacio, in the Philippine Review, November 1917. The Tragedy of the Revolution by Adrian E. Cristobal, published by 2. Studio 5 Publishing Incorporated, in commemoration of the Andres Bonifacio Centennial, May 10, 1997, page 144. Full color photograph of page 15 with the signature of Gregoria de Bonifacio, Lacambini. This is truly an extraordinary historical document, rarer still because it is one of a kind. Although it has been published in parts, it has never been seen in full. It adds greater detail to Andres Bonifacio's account of the deceit and betrayal at the Tejeros Convention and takes up the rest of the tragic saga. On April 24, 1897, the date of Bonifacio's last letter to Emilio Jacinto, he had no idea of the fate that would befall him or that he was in such terrible danger. Gregorio de Jesus tells the tale of his violent arrest imprisonment in what was an outhouse of a certain Bahay na Bato in Cavite, trial and subsequent disappearance. Moreover, in this heartbreaking tale of the day Andres Bonifacio and his brother Procopio were led away to be never seen again, Gregoria de Jesus cannot even bring herself to call the men by their names, so painful was the memory of those tragic times. In still others, she recalls the shameful indifference she suffered at the hands of the Magdalo. At sa kinabukasan ng tanghali nila inalis ang dalawang magkapatid. At ng bandang hapon, na ani nagkaroon ng laban sa labas ng bayan na di malayo sa aking kinalagayan, ay saka lamang ako pinakawalan. Nang ako'y makawala at ako'y tumawid ng ibayo at aking hahanap, ay nasalubong ko ang nangaghatid na dala ang papalimusan kong damit, na siya kong binibihis pati kumot, gamot sa katawan ng aking bayaw, nang ako'y itanong kung saan naroon ang kanilang dala. Ang sagot sa akin ay naroon sa bondok sa isang bahay ng tinyente. Itinanong ko kung batik nila dala ang damit. Ang sagot ay ako na raw ang siyang piling magdala. Ay mga kapatid, Minulan ko na ang hanap sa pinahiruan sa akin. Ay natagpuan ko pagdating doon ay tinuro ako sa kabilang bundok na labis ng taas ang inakyat ng kami ay dumating. Ay wala. Lakad na naman kami. Gregoria is finally told the truth by her uncle, the General Mariano Alvarez, who was in truth the brother of her mother, Baltazara. It was the Alvarezes head of the Magdiwang faction and rivals of Emilio Aguinaldo who had beseeched her to come to Cavite and bring her husband, the Supremo, Andres Bonifacio, along. In other pages, she narrates the now familiar methods of election fraud at the Tejeros Convention, 
as well as trumped up charges, false testimonies, and miscarriage of justice of Bonifacio's trial. At the end of her story, she weeps. Salamat na lamang mga kapatid at ako'y nabuhay pa sa hirap na pinagdaanan ko na may isang buwan akong lumakad na wala kaming kinakain kundi saging nabubot at kung makapaglimos ng aunting bigas ang aking mga kasamahan at ilulugaw at siyang ikakain sa akin at ang damit ko sa katawan ay di na halos masunog. She signs herself Gregoria de Bonifacio, a term she rarely used, adamant in her position as Lakambini and determined to keep the flame of her husband's memory alive. She executed this 15-page handwritten story of what actually happened in the last days of the, I would say, even the Katipuna. So Gregoria de Jesus says one thing, not in his letters, but she would say it over and over again. Fear history because no secret goes undiscovered.